The Prime Minister was in Uluru today. He decided to go. Port Lincoln, he did Broken Hill, trying to pretend that he's uh, tried to win over the uh, vote of regional Australia, despite the fact that we know regional Australia. According to every single poll, even taken by The Guardian, I'll tell you that it's going to be a hard no. The Prime Minister is living in cuckoo land when he says rubbish like this, doing photo opportunities like he did today at Uluru. Kieran, obtained from where? Where was the polling obtained from? Um, the idea that there's been polling uh, on individual seats. I have seen reports, I'm amazed that they actually get written, uh, that uh, seems to be based on some UK company based upon modelling without talking to anyone. Uh, you know, I, we'll wait and see what happens on Saturday. Well, the same methodology, which is polling and also data, was used to almost successfully pick every single seat at the last federal election. So it was fine when the polling said he was going to win, and now that his cause looks like it's not going to win, well, the polling, it's all... Look behind me, behind me, please. By the way, that seat-by-seat -seat polling and the further breakdown that we did on the data for you last night, Linda Burney's seat looks like it's going to vote no. Hers is in southern Sydney. She won that seat, by the way, on primary votes. So it's not like they're anti-Linda Burney, but they are definitely anti The Voice, apparently, in her seat. Meantime, interesting again, the seat-by-seat -seat polling, and we'll find out again on Saturday, but it's interesting data to have a look at. What about the Northern Territory? Now, it doesn't count in terms of the overall uh, state number of four states needed for yes, three states needed for no. It's a territory, but it is, of course, part of the overall popular number. Have a look at this. Lingiari, that's the seat that is based around Alice Springs, 63% no. Solomon, which is based around Darwin, 56% no. Meantime, the early voting continues in record numbers. Overall, 6 million people voted early at the last federal election. Now it looks like the best part of 3 and a bit million people. Here's some of them that spoke to our reporters today. I believe that it's a waste of money that could be spent somewhere else. It's their country, so, yeah. I, I don't really know enough about it, to be honest. I'm going to vote no. I'm a Labor man and I like Albanese, so I think if he thinks he's right, then I've gone for it. I went no, so I don't really want to divide Australia. I voted no. So I don't think the Commonwealth Government has given us enough information on what this means to the Australian population um, and how it's going to work, and I think it will and actually has divided the nation. Did you vote? Yes. We voted yes. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I voted yes. I think there's just too much negativity with people thinking about voting no. I voted no because I believe in a fair go. All right, overall, 3.3 million people have already voted in the referendum, uh, it, so it won't get to the 6 million, but it's going to get, uh, well, a little bigger between now and then. A million in New South Wales, almost a million in Victoria, 697,000 already voting in uh, Queensland. Remember, early voting is also counted on the night. It's only postal voting that isn't counted on the night. It's broken down state by state, but we will get information electorate by electorate. When you vote on Saturday, please go to the place you would normally go for a federal election. 200,000 in South Australia, 60,000 in the ACT, 48,000 in Tasmania and 32,000 in the Northern Territory. 